Hi friends, I am Sunil, working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss electrical topic, electrical topics. Transformers. Difference between power transformer and distribution transformer. Difference between power transformer and distribution transformers. The transformer which is used in generating stations or voltage level is greater than 33 kilo 33 kV. The transformer is a power transformer. The transformer, the transformer which is used in generating stations and the uh, voltage level of the transformer is greater than 30 kilo, 33 kilo volts then the transformer is called power transformer and coming to the distribution transformer these are used in uh, low, uh, these are used in substations and uh, the voltage level is uh, less than 33 kilo volts less than 33 kilo volts okay and power transformers are fully loaded throughout 24 hours power transformers are fully loaded throughout 24 hours in a day in case of uh, distribution transformers these are uh, based on load cycles of consumers based on load cycles of consumers and uh, in case of uh, power transformers the load fluctuations is less the load fluctuations is less in case of distribution transformer load fluctuations are more load fluctuations are more and coming to the emf equation of transformer emf equation of transformer the emf induced in uh, primary winding that is e1 equal to 4.44 pi m fn pi m fn that means here pi is a pi m is maximum flux it is maximum flux and f is frequency and the n1 is primary turns into is secondary turns okay here e2 by e1 equal to n2 by n1 that equal to i1 by i2 that equal to i1 by i2 here e2 by e1 equal to n2 by n1 and that equal to i1 by i2 this relation is very very important this relation is very very important and next one losses in transformers losses in transformers there is no rotational losses in transformers there is no rotational losses are zero why because there is no rotation rotating parts in transformers okay that's why rotate rotation losses are uh, zero that is uh, friction and wind losses are zero and coming to the iron losses iron losses are uh, mainly two types hysteresis losses and eddy current losses hysteresis losses means uh, due to reversal of magnetism due to reversal of magnetism some losses may occur these losses are called hysteresis losses hysteresis losses that means uh, reversal of magnetism means uh, uh, magnetization and demagnetization magnetization and demagnetization uh, due to this uh, reversal of magnetism transformer core when it is subjected to ac hysteresis losses will be produced that means the hysteresis losses wh equal to zeta b max whole power x into f into v f into v and coming to that means uh, wh is wh loss is proportional to frequency and coming to the eddy current losses i already told about the eddy current losses these are circ these are uh, losses due to eddy currents that means circulating currents in the core circulating currents in the core this is a core these are uh, circulating within the core circulating within the core due to this uh, due to this uh, circulating currents there is a loss that is circulating current losses that is circulating current square into r losses these are called eddy current losses there are basically i square r losses present in the core present in the core due to production of eddy currents in the core due to production of eddy currents in the core this eddy current losses are proportional to conductivity of the core 
the eddy current losses are proportional to conductivity of the core that means if the conductivity of core is very high then eddy current uh, currents are also very high so to reduce the eddy current losses we have to reduce the we have to reduce the conductivity we have to reduce the conductivity or we have to reduce the area of the core we have to reduce the area of the core to reduce the area of the core the core is laminated the core is laminated to reduce the area of the core uh, the core is laminated when the area is uh, decreases the eddy current losses also decreases when the area decreases eddy current losses also decreases okay in this way we can eliminate this eddy current losses and the next one copper losses copper losses are nothing but i square r losses copper losses are nothing but i square r losses copper losses at x of full load equal to x square into full load copper losses copper loss at x of full load equal to x square into full load copper losses that means the copper losses at half of the full load equal to x square half half means half of the full x is uh, 1 by 2 that means x square is 1 by 4 1 by 4 of the full load copper losses okay copper loss at half of the full load equal to 1 by 4 into full load copper losses next one variable losses variable losses means the variable losses means uh, whenever the load varies these losses are also varies that means variable loss is equal to copper loss plus stray load losses copper loss plus stray load losses stray load means uh, the, uh, the losses due to other parts of the transformer due to other parts of the transformer and constant losses are nothing but uh, iron losses plus dielectric losses iron losses plus dielectric losses dielectric losses means some of the uh, some parts of the transformers are dielectric due to the dielectric there is a, uh, some losses the those losses are called dielectric losses and next next topic uh, testing of transformers testing of transformers there are mainly oc test and sc test are conducted uh, conducted to find out the losses to find out the losses of transfer losses and performance of the transformer uh, coming to the oc test it is a open circuit test it is a open circuit test the objectives of uh, uh, this uh, oc test of a transformer to find out the shent branch parameters that is nothing but r naught and x naught r naught and x naught and constant losses to find out the constant losses constant losses means iron losses plus dielectric losses and uh, separate the iron losses separate the iron losses into wh and w that means hysteresis losses and eddy current losses iron losses are two types hysteresis and eddy currents to separate the iron losses into hysteresis losses and eddy current losses the open circuit test is should be conducted at rated flux should be conducted at rated flux very very important this test is should be conducted at rated flux in transformer core and uh, this oc test is mainly convenient in lv side of lv side compared to hv side that means if a it is a transformer it is a transformer here it is a lv side it is a hv side it means it is a low voltage side it is a high voltage side so the oc test is uh, most convenient on lv side most convenient on lv side compared to hv side okay and sc test of a transformer coming to the sv test the objectives of sc test to find out the variable losses oc test is used to find out the constant losses sc test is used to find out the variable losses variable losses variable losses means copper losses plus stray load losses copper losses plus stray load losses and this sc test is used to method series branch parameters series branch parameters that is r and x and also it is used to measure percentage r percentage x percentage z of the transformer percentage z of the transformer and sc test is mostly convenient on hv side sc test is mainly most uh, convenient on hv side and this test is should be conducted at rated current should be conducted at rated current at rated current okay next one voltage regulation voltage regulation of transformer 
the regulation down regulation down is v1 minus v2 by v1 that means voltage that means uh, at uh, no load to full load by no load no load to full load by no load regulation up means no load to full load by full load regulation down and regulation up and coming to the three phase transformers three phase transformers there are many types of three phase tra transformers they are delta to delta star to star star to delta star to, uh, delta to delta in this uh, all these uh, transformers delta to star has least number of turns delta to star has least number of turns delta is a primary star is a secondary type this type is le have least number of turns it is most economical very very important bit it has uh, mainly two bits delta to star is least number of turns and it is most economical and the star to delta is highest number of turns and it is a least economical and it is a least economical and 99 percent transformers are mainly for a distribution delta to star type delta to star type 99 percent delta to star type are free for for distribution and coming to the auto transformers auto transformers in this auto transformers it is a transformer with one winding it has only one winding it is and it is common to both primary and secondary it has only one winding and uh, tapping is provided it is uh, treated as one is uh, primary one is secondary that means it, it has only one winding common to both primary and secondary and the trans uh, it transfers power both conductively and inductively that means in case of a single phase transformer or conventional transformer it transfers the power from only inductively but in case of auto transformer it, it transfers the power both conductively and inductively because the both windings and primary and secondary are directly contacted that is electrically connected so that's why it transfers power uh, both conductively and inductively that means kva due to induction due to induction that is 1 minus k into input kva that is 1 minus k into input kva kva due to conduction k into input kva k into input kva k means lv by hv low voltage by high voltage and and connections of uh, this three phase transformers coming to connections of uh, three phase transformers open delta connection open delta connection it is also called as vv connection vv connection if one of the transformer becomes faulty in three phase transformers if one of the transformer becomes faulty in three phase transformers that means one of one of the phase one of the phase of one of the phase of the transformer becomes faulty in three phase transformer then remove that phase of transformer from three phase bank and corresponding connection is called vv connection in case of uh, three phase transformer there are mainly three phases r y b if one of the phase is removed one of the phase is removed in this three phase uh, bank the corresponding connections and that means uh, the remaining connection is called vv connection the remaining connection is called vv connection and capacity of this vv bank is and the capacity of B vv bank is 0 0.577 into kva kv of three phase transformers kv of three phase transformer and kva supplied by each single phase transformer kva supplied by each single phase transformer is 0 0.866 into kv of three phase transformer and utilization factor is 86.6 percent uh, once again what is a vv connection in case of three phase transformer if any of the phase is becomes faulty or removed from this three phase bank the remaining connections the remaining corresponding connection is called vv connection and this uh, capacity of vv bank is 0 0.577 into kva of three phase connection three phase transformer and kva supplied by each transformer is 0 0.866 into kva of three phase transformer and the utilization factor is 86.6 percent 86.6 percent the utilization factor of uh, vv connection is 86.6 percent very very important
and next important connection is scott connection scott connection by using this scott connection we can convert three phase supply can be converted to three two phase three phase supply can be converted to two phase and two phase supply will be converted to three phase very very important connection very very important for uh, any competitive exam scott connection is used to convert three phase to two phase and two phase to three phase and uh, kv of this scott connection equal to root 3 into kv of single phase transformer kv of this scott connection equal to root 3 into kv of single phase transformers okay friends thank you and all the best in next video i will discuss uh, battery cells and batteries and battery chargings and charging of batteries okay thank you